Hi parents, I thought that since we weren't meeting together for the next couple of weeks, that I'd take a minute and give you some ideas and some things to do with your kids to continue their Christian education. Um, we don't know how long that we're going to be not able to meet at church. So I was thinking about Pastor Ron's sermon series that he just finished on the Jesus curriculum. and. I'm a Sunday school kid. I went to Sunday school my whole life as a child. I learned all the Bible verses. I learned all the Bible stories. And yet it was kind of hard to hold it all together. And when I became an adult, I learned these seven principles. And this is the seven main things that Jesus taught his disciples. And so as Jesus followers, I think it's real important that we pass this on to our kids. And I make a poster. My family goes away together to the beach in the summer and I make a poster with the seven principles on it and I have to admit I pay my grandkids to learn the principles. The little ones can learn just two, they get paid. Uh, the older ones, if they learn all seven, they get paid more. And um, it's just kind of a little something for them to um, work on while we're at the beach and enjoying each other and helps them to kind of hold together their faith. So the first of the principles is what is the purpose? And we learn from Pastor Ron that the purpose of our lives is to love God and to love people. And I'm going to post some Bible verses that you can look up. Maybe you'll want to do one little section each day and talk it over. So you can talk together with your family about how can we show God that we love Him? Um, read a verse and that I give you and think about how is it that we can show God that we love Him? We know we're supposed to, but how do we actually do that? And then weave those thoughts through your every day as you're walking with the kids. Maybe a good idea, since the weather is so lovely this week, is to take a walk and verbally thank God for the things you see. I mean, I see out my window right now green trees and a pink blossoming cherry tree and yellow daffodils and just so many beautiful things that we can thank God for. When you love somebody, you thank them for the ways that they bless you. And that's a good practice to get in in our lives. And so do that with your kids. Take a walk and thank God for the things that you see. Um, and maybe you can do that each day if our weather holds out, that would be wonderful. The second part of that same purpose is to love people. So to love God and to love people. So. Maybe talk with the kids about how do we love people? How do we show people that we love them? So maybe an idea this week would be to take some paper and some crayons or some paint if you have paint and paint a picture for someone or draw a picture for them or make a card and send to them in the mail. Those are all things that we can still do. And so showing people that we love them it can be people far away, can be people near. And then why don't you answer back and give us some ideas of what your family did and we can share together in our community and find new ways to um, show God that we love him and show people that we love them. You stay well and God bless your week. Bye-bye.